So there have been quite uh, good ch changes in the therapeutic management of aplastic anemia. As uh, people would probably know, the EBMT uh, group led by Regis P. Foldelator and Antonio Ricitano, along with a few other colleagues, set up this uh, RACE trial, which is using upfront ATG cyclosporin and l pack, comparing ATG cyclosporin in patients with severe and very severe aplastic anemia. 200 patients were enrolled. The study was published earlier on, uh, early part of last year in New England Journal of Medicine, showing an improved response rate with a triple the combination, but also a quicker response rate and ability to induce complete responses at an earlier time point in this group of patients with aplastic anemia. And definitely that has changed the uh, landscape of treatment for this group of patients. But there is still obviously few unanswered answered questions in this. One of them which we are very much interested in looking at and we are looking at is looking at the clonal architecture of aplastic anemia. As we've described many years back, 20% of patients can have mutations, myeloid type mutations, MDS type mutations, but what is the significance of these mutations is being looked at in that study. And the second thing in that area which is being looked at is these trials in the, uh, uh, mandated stopping of l pack at six, six months, but there are patients who relapse and we are trying to deal with what is this l pack dependence and how could we manage, could we prolong the course of l pack could we reintroduce, could we keep them on cyclosporin. So these are things we are uh, we are looking at. A few other things which are exciting is uh, as the EBMT group, we recently looked and presented in the EBMT, uh, looking at the use of anabolic steroids like andro and androgens like danazole, oxymethylone, and other agents in a large group of patients registered in the EBMT database uh, looking at both inherited and acquired and this is a snapshot of the data but there needs to be more data uh, using these anabolic steroids in a systematic prospective trials both for inherited and in acquired aplastic anemia where patients fail initial immunosuppressive therapy.